what is up guys welcome back to the german muscle channel so sitting in my car that i just got the other day and this thing is filthy it stinks in here it smells like a butthole and cigarettes and it stinks so i already started cleaning up the face plate of all that right there i cleaned up the center console right here and these buttons they're actually stuck I'm not going to push them in because you have to take a flathead screwdriver and pry them out just to like get them to be unstuck. Let's go through this crap. See what this is. This looks like a coupon with a nickel on it and some crusty stuff. And don't know what the hell that is. This looks like an instant burner. I don't know why an incense burner would be in a car. This is probably important. Probably goes to something that's broke. I noticed that there's a lot of broken stuff on this car. A lot. Don't know what that is either. Wonder if any of this stuff is from the 90s. That'd be pretty cool. Got this little clip in here. I don't know what this clip goes to. But probably goes to something. And uh... I don't have a vacuum, so I can't suck all that nasty stuff up. Okay, so you guys remember the video that I made a while back where I found a safety deposit key and an old ass $10 bill from 1969 and my old BMW? Well, this thing right here, this is the little cubby hole to the new car that I got, my dream car. There's something like jiggling around in there. So I'm sitting there shaking it back and forth trying to get it to come out. Guess what pops out? <laughs> I shit you not. This little key right here, I don't think it's a safety deposit box key, but it definitely goes to a lock. So, if any of you guys know what kind of key this would go to, let me know down in the comments. I literally just found it, and then I had to turn the camera on to document it. Just broke my seat.
All right, guys. So I swept the whole interior out with the little broom thing that I had, and um, I need to run a vacuum through here to get everything else. I don't know what that is right there. Hopefully, it's not dog poop. But got the back cleaned out as well. The camera actually died when I tried to clean this out and get it on film, so I had to go and swap batteries. But um, got this cleaned out really good. It looks a lot lighter on camera, but this carpet is really dark. And uh, there's still some specks in there because I need to run the vacuum through it. But this ain't bad for a, a little dollar brush. All right, guys. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to clean next on the car. And um, I see a dude walk past my car. And I thought he was checking it out because this is the same as that car that Tupac got shot in. Except for a little bit different. So I'm looking at this dude. I'm like, that dude looks so damn familiar. Then he walks up to me, and I'm sitting there thinking, like, okay, he's going to ask me for a cigarette or something. So, he's like, hey, man, what's your name? And I'm sitting there thinking, like, maybe he's a cop. Maybe he knows me from YouTube. And I've had so many weird people put stuff on my cars. Like, I'm just sitting there thinking, like, what the fuck, dude? And I'm like, I don't know why. And he's like... Is your mom so-and-so? I'm like, yeah. And then I remembered him as soon as he said that. I'm like, shit, what are you doing down here, boy? This is my homie from uh, a town that I used to live in.